football editor. Clyde, good morning and welcome to Insure FM in Kumasi, Ghana. Uh, in South Africa, it's in, it's in the afternoon. It's in the so afternoon, afternoon, but in Ghana, it's in the morning. How are you? And good morning uh, to all the Canadians. How are you, Clyde? Uh, I'm, I'm very well, guys. I'm, yeah, I'm Ghana. Pleased to be here. Ghana, we are under great pressure. Great, great pressure. Uh, we couldn't get our desired results against Ethiopia. I would say a similar thing happened to South Africa. You also played against Zimbabwe. You couldn't get the desired results. So the two teams are going to meet this evening in South Africa. So what is the expectation like? Uh, firstly, uh, uh, let me say, I think you're a bit, you're a bit too harsh on, on the Black Stars. They got the three points. The how doesn't matter. Uh, at the end of the day, the team won. They got the three points. That's they are ahead of everyone, so let's not be too harsh on them. Uh, but with us, uh, but, but Clyde, it was an away but Clyde, game. Yes. Clyde, our people are not satisfied with the three points. They said we couldn't play an exciting game. We just got the three points uh, as a fluke. You, look, in in football, there is no mark for 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 for, for beautiful football. Get the results, go on. But get the results and gone, and the Black Stars got the results. They they are already on plus three. They are two points ahead of everyone right now. So if they if they win today, they go on six points. How does it matter? So I think people need to start understanding that you you need to win games. Sometimes the how doesn't matter. You need to grind the result. The reason the reason why Sundowns, for instance, has, has been African champions. They they were not pretty in some games. They go on and and grind the results. So. Canadians, I think you you need to cool cool down and celebrate the Black Stars winning. But tonight, I'm sorry, you'll have to 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 be chewing onions, so you'll be crying a lot of times. How? How? Uh, because Wafana Wafana is going to beat you. Ah, you couldn't uh, Wafana, beat Wafana you couldn't beat Ethiopia. Zimbabwe. How can you beat us? The last time we were there for the can qualifier, you couldn't beat us. No, Zim, Zim was a Zim is a is a local derby. Remember, that's a this new Bafana team is a brand new team. Uh, I think the highest cap player is is just under forty caps. He has thirty five caps. Uh, a lot of them are kids that went to the Olympics. Uh, kids that went to Junior World Cup. Uh, other kids played at the Kosafa Cup. So it's a whole new Bafana team. Uh, for the first time in years, we had a coach that said he's building a team and he actually started building. So we didn't have a, a coach who says he's building and then he goes on to call uh, people like Ito Melenkune with over uh, 60 caps and others. So it, it's, a, it's a whole new team. Uh, people that have less than 10 caps at senior nationals. Less than five caps, actually. I think we have like four Isn't or right five fan? players that are over 20 caps. So... It's a brand new team, new desire, new hunger, and uh, they, they are out to impress. When you, if you can beat the Black Stars, what else can you ask for? And I think uh, you, you are without six of your key players. Uh, among them is Jordan and you. Uh, we can't worry about Dede. He's playing in, in somewhere in, in, in the sand. <laughs> He's playing for Assad. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. No, I was just teasing you. Yeah, I know he plays for us, and I was just saying in the sense, uh, uh, because I feel like, I, I, I may be wrong, but I feel like it's not as competitive as, as where you was uh, previously. So, uh, tonight you are in our home ground. We were away. We needed a result, and we didn't drop points. We got a point. I think more than anything, it was Zimbabwe that lost the two points. Uh, so, for, for us in Zim, getting a point was something. And now when we are at home, we need to go for full, full force. We need to go for three points. And I think even the coach, uh, Hugo Bruce, the way he set up his team against him, it was a little bit defensive, uh, clearly to show that we, we were affording him the respect of saying they are the home team. And uh, they, they didn't take the chance to say they are the home team and accept their game on us, take advantage of it. So uh, them dropping the two points, it means we, we, are, we are in with him. We got a point. Tonight we get three points, we got off. Uh, Clyde, I, I will share with you our starting 11 for this particular game. If you can also do us a favor by sharing with us uh, the players that Hugo Bruce are going to start them in this game, we, we will appreciate it. <laughs> 
And she <laughs> no, really a fan. I, I, we know if, if the Black Stars, your goalkeeper, is a four, then we have won the game. I don't think we don't. We even need to play the game. We, you can just give us three points in a bag and uh, just admit you've lost the game. Well, why do you say so? Is it not a good, a good goalkeeper? Is it not good enough to be in the post is for a Black Stars? It's a terrible time at Orlando Pirates. I'm, I'm, I'm not sure he's really having a bad season at Orlando Pirates so far. Sure. Uh, I think he, his best days was at Marisbeck. But so far this season at Orlando Pirates, it hasn't been uh, the best time of his life. I think uh, if, 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 if you ever ask him to when, when he would have loved to play Bafana during his days at Marisbeck or now, you'll probably say it, uh, at Marisbeck because during that time his form was uh, at, at its highest. But yeah, when it comes to Bafana, how they'll be lining up, I think uh, the coach will play the same lineup that played in Zim. He's just probably going to change Mutovim Vala and put in uh, Sipombule in, in midfield. And uh, I can tell you right now that you need to write the name now. His name is Sipombule. You'll remember the name after the game. Uh -huh. <laughs> yes, yes, I remember the name after them because he's going to have a bad day and then it will be conspicuous for everybody to see that ah this is the player who had a bad day in the game against uh, Ghana uh, we'll come back to that but Clyde uh, talking about Richard Ofori that he's not had the best with uh, Orlando Paris but I've seen most players who not do well for their clubs but when they go for the national teams they do well uh, 100% I agree with you a lot of players when they get into an international setup, some sometimes the the mindset changes. But uh, remember, goalkeeping is a specialist position. It relies on confidence. And right now, I feel like Richard Ofori's confidence is quite low because of uh, things that are happening at Orlando Pirates. They had to change a coach just just after one game into the season. And and I think when he came in, he got he got scored a goal from a a deflection from one of his best centre backs, the former Wafana captain. So that's what I'm saying. He's not a bad goalkeeper, but at this very moment, I feel like his confidence is a bit low. Okay. Okay. Just like the people of Ghana feel, uh, our team was not excited. Uh, we didn't get the results we wanted. We wanted to probably put Ethiopia where they belong by beating them either 3 or 4 nil. And that couldn't happen for us. So the people of South Africa, we hear, are also not happy uh, with the performance of their team when they played against Zimbabwe. I mean, what has, what has been um, the comment being, be, being made by the people in South Africa? Uh, there's a lot of positivity. Uh, the reason being, everyone everyone agrees that finally we, we have a team that shows that we are building. Uh, it's a lot of, a bunch of youngsters with uh, the, the experienced players. I think they are the oldest is like 27 or 28. So... Uh, that that tells you when we when a coach says he's building, there's lip service when somebody says I'm I'm eating and they are drinking. So this coach says he's building and he actually has young kids playing in that team and and a lot of these kids are talented kids. It's, it's kids that are deserving to be in that national team. It's kids that have been to junior World Cup from under 17, under 20, and uh, went to under 23 Afcon. Uh, some of them went to Olympics and and and. I think a lot of former players that they've failed in the Bafana jersey are not in the squad. So there's a new sense of, of optimism. Uh, there's a, a new sense of belief. Uh, there's such a lot of exuberance and a bit of experience. So we're building a, a better team. And I think a lot of people believe that uh, despite we didn't get a, a win in Zim, uh, but those kids actually showed that they are out to compete. Uh, and there's no mental block in, 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 any, in their performances. I'm happy that the people of South Africa have accepted that they are building a team. Once you're in the process of getting a formidable and winsome side, then you don't expect to get a desired resource against a giant in African football, like playing against Ghana. Once you agree that you are building uh, a team, then you I are think, post, you're in the process of getting to the finality. So you don't uh, expect to get a result Ghana, against say, a giant. Is, is that what? Yeah. What did you say, Clyde? I didn't get it. No, I said uh, when you referring to the Black Stars, you can no longer say the Giants. You should say the former Giants. Ah, former Giants. <laughs> 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 when last did you have
Uh, oh, but you were there when you played in the World Cup 2010. You were Africa's best. Everyone played at the World Cup. You, you, you lost a game that you shouldn't have lost, so you can no longer be referred as giant. Uh, yeah. So the only giant is, is at the moment is Algeria. Oh, they, oh. they just won the Afghan recently. Uh, when last did you win your your, your regional title with um, uh, the Western the West, the West Me, Wafu, uh, Wafu, title? yeah. Yeah, when, when last time did you win it? Oh, the last edition. The last time we played, we won it. The last the time last we played the Wafu, yeah, we won it. Okay, so if you, if you, then you are you are a half giant. <laughs> Not a full giant <laughs> on the African soil. Yeah, <laughs> okay, uh, uh, Clyde, we appreciate your time shared with us. We, we hope to talk to you after the game. Um, by the end of this game, you see Ghana having some six points and then still occupying the topmost position in our group. Yeah, sure. But uh, l l let me ask a lot of Canadians that uh, as Africans, we, we need to stop uh, this thing of, of of demanding too much. Of MC course, we, we want the team to, to play well, but if they can win games, that's what you want. You you play very well, you lose to Ethiopia, then what do you do? You you miss out the World Cup. Now you've won. That's important. Three points. Get the three points. Next time, they'll play better. Sure. Sure. sure, sure, sure. What is your expectation for the game? What is your prediction? Having known the Ghanaian uh, side and not of South Africa. Pesita will score two, and then uh, Luther Singh will score a free kick, and the, the score will be 3 1. Okay. South Africa 3, Ghana 1. South Africa 3, because as I said, uh, Richard Ofori will just let in three goals. He will definitely drink goals. <laughs> yeah, because if he doesn't let in the three goals, uh, we will ask Pirates to send him to Cheaper United. Well, well, we are we are we are hoping that uh, the results will be the, a reverse of what you've predicted. It will be a reverse call line. <laughs> All the best with the with your hope. Yeah, <laughs> okay, okay, well, that will not happen, but let me wish you well. That will not happen, or let me wish you well. So, wish you well, and I also wish you well. So, that ends the day to be a score draw for the two sides. All right, all the best. <laughs> and, I, I, and I said, I, I don't see Ghana winning this one. The best you can get tonight is a draw. Okay, that's fine. Wow, that is our colleague, Clyde Through. Uh, he works for supersport.com, he's the football editor.